Hey, Cat Cool here. Um, I've been asked quite a few times to do this video, <clears throat> so uh, I thought I'd get on with it. And uh, which I'm going to show you how to um, play PlayStation 2 games on your PC. Uh, mainly, this is for Gran Turismo 4, but obviously, uh, you know, the the basic of it is the same no matter what game uh, you're going to be playing. Right, so the first thing you need to do um, is get this PC SX2 PlayStation 2 emulator. Um, I'll leave the links in the description to the programs I use and, um, and, and all that sort of thing. So this is the first thing we need to go get. So, uh, like I say, all you do is you click here download get PC SX2 and just click on the Windows uh, version which I'll do that I've already got it but I'll, I'll do it anyway I don't know if I click that or not no that's better right you click that and this is the one that you want um, you know just a standalone installer and you just click the download button over here it's only 17 megabytes so it's not very big um, and there you go that's that and then what you would do is uh, click down here obviously I've downloaded it before um, and you just click next just leave all these selected um, and just click next and, and until it goes all the way through to the end and says it's completed uh, I'm not going to do that because obviously I've already got it installed um, once you've done that the uh, the next bit I'm not going to show you how to do it for legal reasons because uh, I don't know how legally allowed I am to show how to do the next bit but it's quite simple um, basically all you do is um, you 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 go to Google and type in uh, PS2 BIOS, um, basically. Uh, that's all you need to do, and then you will find that on a site. Uh, download it, and um, if you don't already have WinRAR, you'll need to download this program here. Like I say, I'll leave leave a link in the description to it anyway. Uh, you'll need this to extract the files uh, th that's the PS2 BIOS um, right if you haven't got that installed get it installed you know you just download uh, whichever version you need to have it's either the 64 bit or the 32 depends which operating system you're running uh, as to which version you'll need um, but anyway once once you've got the uh, PS2 BIOS uh, downloaded uh, I'll just make that big so you can see it um, you go to uh, where the, the, right here it is this is the file I downloaded it's not very big again it's only 13 megs now if you look in here you can see all the different BIOSes for PlayStation 2 um, so you just highlight all those uh, click extract to and I'm just going to extract these in a slightly different folder uh, as to not mess up the one I've already got running um, right you do that and that's that done right so and then you can get rid of this as well uh, you don't need that I'll just minimize it right so the next thing you want to do is to run the emulator um, which mine's here because I've run it a few times obviously but it, there'll be a shortcut on the desktop as well to it um, you know however you want to start it but uh, start the emulator up <clears throat> it'll take a minute or two before it comes up there we go right um, when you first load yours up it'll say that it may say I, I'm, I'm pretty much certain that's what it does it, it 
says to you uh, that you've got no BIOS for it. Um, and, and what you need to do is browse to the folder where you've got all that, where you've extracted all those BIOS files. Now, obviously, if yours has gone into your downloads folder, that's where it'll be. Um, but, um, but I mean, that's basically it. But if it doesn't do that, um, all you do is you, you got this window open, click on config, and uh, plug in BIOS selector, and then basically you just browse to where you where your uh, PS2 BIOS is, is now I've got the European version selected because I'm in Europe and and all, obviously all my copies of PS2 games that I have uh, are all European obviously if you're in America then you'll need to uh, and you've got you know original copies of PS2 games from America you'll need to select the American BIOS or, or whatever um, but yeah, you just select that and then select the collect correct one and then click OK and and that's that done. Um, so what we'll do next is uh, install another bit of software and uh, get an image of the disc uh, that you want to play. In in my case, it's Gran Turismo 4. But uh, yeah, so we we'll go to Image Burn and click on the one that says Provided by Image Burn because you don't get loads of um, adverts and all that sort of thing. Uh, if you do it through that one, you know, I'll show you. You know, you just go to there and it starts downloading straight away. And then you'll just install this program as 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 normal. Just click in Next. Uh, it may ask you if you want to install something else. Just tell it you don't. Um, you just want the actual core program. Now once you've got that set up and installed uh, let me think where's mine <laughs> I think it's in a folder there it is uh, once it's downloaded and installed get that opened right and you'll be presented with with this here um, so what you will want to do is create an image file from disk right so you just left click there you'll see your CD drives uh, selected and if you look here it says I've got the Gran Turismo 4 disc already in my drive uh, you'll see it says Gran Turismo 4 DVD ROM blah 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 um, all you will do is select a, fold, a, a place on your computer where you want to save it uh, which I've got some already in there um, but yeah you'd select where you want to save it and then just click open um, no I don't want to do that no you wouldn't you just find there and click save sorry right it wants to go in that folder for some reason uh, but I'm gonna click cancel but then once you've selected the folder where you want it to go you just click this here um, and it go through and start reading the disk It'd take about five six minutes maybe depending upon the speed of your drive uh, now once that's done uh, that's that bit out of the way uh, you can click um, close on that and uh, and all that sort of thing uh, once you've got your image right now the next step I'm going to cover is going to be um, it's going to be about the settings specific to Gran Turismo 4 so if you're watching this video um, to play say I don't know uh, any anything else <laughs> I can't think of other PS2 games at the moment but uh, if you're playing something else then obviously this step will be uh, not of importance to you so um, you know that's that's pretty much it um, but uh, if you are playing Gran Turismo 4, um, what you will need to do is the following steps. Right, we're going to Config and Emulation Settings. Right, we go to EEIOP. And uh, the first thing we do is we change uh, this bit here, Clamping Mode, to Full. That's, I think that's the only one we do in that uh, section. Yes, it is. Um, right, 
the next uh, section, VUs, and uh, let me think. Yeah, it's just clamping mode again. Uh, extra. Um, and 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 that's pretty much it in there. Then we go to GS. <coughs> I don't think I actually altered anything in here. Uh, I, I don't believe I did. Uh, I didn't alter anything at all in there, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, GS window. I altered it to um, 16 by 9 uh, widescreen obviously because I've got a widescreen monitor if you haven't or you're playing it on the TV that's not widescreen or something like that then obviously you won't need to do that um, and also um, I enabled uh, speed hacks now this helps with uh, the frame rate if you're struggling with frame rate um, then you know you'll you'll <coughs> you'll uh, it'll help um, and and you can turn this up to two uh, to get um, a better frame rate if needed I mean I I particularly don't um, you know but uh, you might need to do that to help with the frame rate on your machine but uh, anyway and game fixes just click this enable manual game fixes but don't tick any boxes uh, at all. Uh, just leave those exactly how they are, um, and uh, and and that's pretty much it for all the settings. Right. Next thing is uh, if if you're going to be using a controller, a pad, you just go to config here, controllers, pad, plugin settings. And then you will just basically use this to uh, set up your, uh, your your pad. You'll see it down here. Uh, you know, you just go to pad one, and I believe you just uh, um, think it's just there yeah it is um, basically you click on these buttons and then press the corresponding key I'm not going to uh, accept that because I don't need to do that right and once we've done that yeah we're pretty much uh, all good to go and um, the only thing we've got to do is assign the uh, ISO for the game and and that's pretty much it uh, so you do, <coughs> you go to this ISO selector, now obviously I've got a lot listed in here, uh, which you won't have, um, so basically you just click on browse, and then browse to where you, uh, where you, where you um, saved your ISO of the game to, uh, so you'd select Gran Turismo 4, uh, you've done that, and then system and you just boot, like with this, and that'll be it. You just click that, and it'll boot up the PS2. Uh, I'll just show you quickly. Mine's in full screen. And there we go. It's booting up. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's everything done. Um, it would have booted the game if I'd have left it, but. Um, I didn't, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's everything uh, that you need to uh, get going. Like I say, I'm doing another video uh, based on the steering wheel as as a separate video. Otherwise, uh, it just gets too long and <clears throat> whatever. So uh, anyway, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.